Welcome to another video. You know, every time you pick up a piece of Pringles, you are picking up a hyperbolic paraboloid because that is the mathematical name for that shape. So maybe the next time you walk into a store, just tell them, can I get some hyperbolic paraboloids <laughs> and see what kind of response you get. <laughs> that would be insanely funny. Okay, before we go on, I just need you to remember to like this video and share the video. And if you learned anything, just leave a comment in the comment section. And if you're new to this channel or you're not new, but you're not subscribed, I need you to subscribe because I need you. Let's get into the video. Suppose you're given a three-dimensional equation like this, where you have x, you have y, you have z. How do you know if what you have is a hyperbolic paraboloid, or if it is the equation of a sphere, or if it is an ellipsoid, or if it is whatever shape you're given or surface you're supposed to identify, how do you know when it is a hyperbolic paraboloid? It is always very straightforward. For it to be a hyperbolic paraboloid, it must contain a hyperbola and it must contain a parabola. So what do you do? How do you identify them? The first thing you want to do is you have to decide which one of the variables you want to ignore. So what I would recommend is start with the Z, ignore Z. So you're going to act as if Z does not exist. So you're going to say ignoring just in your head. Don't write it. Okay. <laughs> ignoring Z. What are you going to have? You're going to end up with x squared minus y squared equals 1. What is this shape called? This is the equation of a hyperbola, right? Absolutely. That's where the word hyperbolic means. So the hyperbola is describing the shape that's about to show up. So that's the first one. Now let's ignore something else. Ignoring x squared. What would you get? If you ignore x squared, you're going to get negative y squared plus z equals 1. Um, what if we isolate z and move this over here? You're going to end up with z is equal to y squared plus 1. Now, have you seen this before? This is the equation of a parabola. Remember all those quadratic equations you write, you say y equals x squared plus 1, and you say this is a quadratic, yes. So this is a parabola. You got one parabola, you got one hyperbola. So let's do one more ignoring. You will observe that when you ignore, let's do the last one, ignoring y squared, what do we have? If we ignore this, we're going to have x squared plus z equals 1, x squared plus z equals 1. If you keep z, z is going to be negative x squared plus 1. This is another hyperbola. Just that the characteristics are slightly different. This is a hyperbola that opens. You see, the hyperbola, this is the negative one. So it means that you will be opening on along the x-axis, but you'll be opening away from the y-axis. Right? That's how we learned it. And then for this one, it's z, it's a parabola, and because this, this is a function of this, you're going to be treating this like this. Okay, so the z will be the main axis, and then the two arms are going to come on y. And then when you go here, it's going to be a parabola that is facing the downward direction along z. This one is facing up because it's a minimum curve, and this one is facing down because it's a maximum curve. So all of these things are going to come together in deciding the shape. So what do we have? We're going to have one. For this one, we're going to have a hyperbola that opens. It's, an, it's a hyperbola on x, opens um, along y. Okay? Then we go here. This is the second thing we have is going to be a parabola. And this parabola is going to be on Z. Okay? Both and two arms 
So this is how I like to tell myself. It's going to have two arms. It's going to go up like this. And the arms are Y arms. Two Y arms. <laughs> okay, and the third one is a parabola also on Z. And two X arms. So with this, you can easily sketch the graph or sketch the surface. It's gonna be some kind of artwork you're gonna be doing, but it's gonna work out. Okay, let's get rid of this and make a sketch of that. So that's what you call it. Oh, one thing I forgot to say. Another word, which is the easier word for the name of a hyperbolic paraboloid is a saddle. Remember, that thing you place on the back of a horse to ride. Let's go, okay. Look at a piece of Pringle. It looks like a saddle because that was the design in the first place. We're gonna try to sketch this hyperbolic paraboloid just by sketching um, a Pringle. So what I would recommend is do something like this. Um, let's say you go this way. Ah, that's looking stretched. Now let's go this way. So what I would recommend is you curl this and bring it a little down, okay? And you curl it back up. But it looks like we're now going to turn this around and go this way. Okay, that looks like... Um, let's pull this down a little. So let's start by drawing the horizontal lines. So what you want to draw is, you want to draw lines like this. And you want to draw lines on this side just a little bit on the opposite direction, like that. Let's make it better. And let's make this better. Now this is almost perfect. Almost perfect. So let's emphasize the boundaries. This looks like a piece of Pringles. It looks like a saddle, and it is indeed a hyperbolic paraboloid. But the only thing we need to fix will be the axis for each of these curves and bends. So here we go. Remember what we said. We said that the hyperbola is gonna be on X and opens along Y. So it's gonna flap its wings this way. So it means that X has to be not along that direction. So it looks like what we have is actually good. The parabolas on, will be on Z. So the two parabolas, you see this is facing up and this is facing down. So if this is up and this is down, it means that our Z axis has to rest somewhere here. So that is our Z axis. And this is Y where it flaps away. So this must be our Y axis. So this is Y and this is Z and we keep our traditional x-axis so that it goes this way. And this is x. Ladies and gentlemen, we have sketched this, we have shown you, presented you a piece of Pringles, and it is a saddle. It's a, hyper, it's a hyperbolic parabola. <laughs> Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.